Hi guys, it's Blakey here, and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rika, and I review a lot of active births, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you should just keep watching. Um, today I'll be reviewing a Swedish brand. I can, I will, or in short, ICIW. That's usually what they use for their label or their logo, kind of. They don't really have a logo, they just write ICIW on their leggings. Um, but they're also available worldwide, and I've definitely seen a lot of people wear their stuff in the gym before. Um, I think I've tried like one or two of their pieces like a long time ago and I had like troubles with this with sizing and stuff and I don't know I wasn't super convinced and they also do a lot of seamless stuff and I'm not into that you know seamless that much so maybe that also kind of affects it a little bit but I recently got like some advertisements for like a new um, influencer collaboration they did with like a Swedish woman called Angelica Blick I had never heard of her um, she has like I think over a million followers on Instagram, so I guess you know she, she a lot of people know of her just I, I don't um, uh, But so you know that that's I wasn't super intrigued by it because of that But I was intrigued by their stuff because of uh, a color that they had and I was like this is a pretty color Um, I of course ordered some of that stuff. So we'll we'll get to that color in a little bit But yeah, so I kind of was intrigued um, and then I got some student discount as well, so I was like, sure, I'll order some. And they also have, I'm not sure if they're free returns or like if I have to pay a little bit to return, but easy returns, let's say that. They do have easy returns, which is what I like. And I'll probably be using that as well because I don't think I'll be keeping everything. But we will see, of course. I try to order like a little bit of everything, what I saw, what I liked. Um, one very crazy piece because I'd been eyeing that for a while and I was like, what is going on? So we have a lot of things to cover today. Um, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get into the pieces. I will start with the stuff from the Angelica Blick um, collaboration collection, I guess. And I will show you that color well right, that I was talking about. So this is the Blick Twisted Back Sports Bra, or Twist Back Sports Bra, um, or Twisted Sports Bra, whatever. And this is this beautiful colorway. This is called Light Blue, so just a very simple name, but I really, really liked it. And I was very intrigued by it. Um, so they had like different sports bras and different leggings and like the same colors. So you could kind of mix and match, whatever. Um, this sports bra is a seamless one. So we do have a ripped band underneath your chest here. We do have removable cup pads, which uh, I appreciate. We have kind of a normal length sports bra basically as well here. So it's not like nothing long lined or anything. It seems like there's a decent amount of coverage up here as well. Um, straps also seem to be decently thick. And in the back we have this twist detailing, which is why it's called the twisted sports bra here. Um, I got this one in extra small because it wasn't available in a small anymore in this size, but this was my favorite bra style that I saw on their website. And as I already said, this was kind of my favorite color from the whole thing. Um, this is, by the way, the logo that they went with for this collection. But you can see what I mean with the I can I will stuff. Oh my god, my nail polish matches this color. Uh, you can see I like this one. Yeah, so this I can I will and then it's also Angelica Blick down there. So yeah, a seamless sports bra and I also got this one in black in a size small just to see if small would be a better size. I'm usually size small but I've, sometimes I can also do an extra small. So um, yeah, I wanted to get it in black as well. Seemed like a good staple to have um, and black is always a good color, you know, so you can kind of pair it with everything. And we have the same thing, a little bit more of an open back here as well. Um, and this, these twisted straps here in the back. The ripped band underneath. And then here, the logo is kind of just a little more gray than black here, so you can still see it a little bit. And kind of here, it was also just a shade darker in terms of the blue they chose for this one. Um, the seamless does feel nice and soft. It's not the softest I've felt, but it's also definitely not one of these like ones where you're like, okay, I have to take this off immediately because it's so scratchy. So that's a plus. Um, but let's see these on. All right, here we have the black twist bra paired together with the white leggings. So different materials, <laughs> definitely, because this is a seamless sports bra. We have ripped uh, seamless band underneath here. Decent coverage in the front, actually. Like you don't see much, like a lot coming out here. Thick straps. And then you have like a little bit of a logo situation here on the side, but it's like not super obvious. And then in the back, you have like a nice open bag. Um, I feel like the band is okay. There's still a little bit of, you know, extra space, um, but not too much. And then we have this twist detail here in the, in, uh, at the top. It's not like super special, but I think it's still kind of cute. 
And this is the small. So I'm not sure how the extra small is gonna go, but I would feel like if you were to be in between, I would still say to probably size down because I still feel like there's a little bit of extra space for me. Uh, but I'm more of a true small for my sports bras. And in terms of like support, I think for me, this is a solid medium support. We also have removable cup pads. And yeah, I actually like this one. It's also not like the scratchy kind of seamless. It's still like nice and soft. It feels good against my skin. And I think it's just like a simple sports bra with a, with a twist, you know? <laughs> but I think you can pair this with a lot of stuff. And I mean, yes, of course, it's more of a true sports bra length, but I still think since you get like decent coverage, you you could just wear this, you know, without a top or anything. You'd still feel comfortable and like confident in it. So yeah. All right, let's talk about this bra in an extra small now. Um, just <laughs> first up, I noticed there's some dirt on there, like some, I don't know if it's makeup or something and I don't really wear a lot of it. So I'm not sure if this is from me or not. I wouldn't think so because this usually doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, the extra small still fits me actually. I feel a little, bit, a little bit more tucked and a little bit more supported. So maybe even like a medium to high support, at least for me. Um, like the, definitely the, the chest feels a little bit more pushed together, a little bit more pushed up as well. So I think if you're in between for sure, size down. Um, I'm on the smaller side of a small, so, you know, like I sometimes can fit it into an extra small. It definitely is a little bit tighter, but it's not uncomfortable. Like if there wasn't the marks on it, I would probably keep it. But this way I'm, I'm not, because <laughs> I'm not risking it to not wash out. But I really do like this color as well. Um, and yeah, otherwise the bend still has a little bit of gift. So even though this is a size smaller now, you still have that. It maybe cuts in a little bit more. So if you have problems with like back fat spillage or something you don't like it, then maybe do not size down, I guess. And then you have this twist detail here uh, in the back again, this nice open back here. So all in all, I think it's cute. It's kind of simple, but it's cute. And then we have the I Can I Will logo here again as well. And yeah, it really matches well, even though it's different fabrics here. So just to note that, but yeah, it's a beautiful color. Shame on these stains, wherever they come from, but yeah. All right, next up we have the Balik tights. So they just have a very simple name. They're also very simple tights and I got them in white and in light blue. Um, why did I get them in white? Because I was like, they did a white leggings. We'll see if this is squat proof. Also weird, they had two different prices for these. So white was the most expensive one out of all the four colorways I think they offered. And the other four were all the same, or the other three were all the same price. So I was like, okay, did they do something special to the white? Like what is happening? Interesting. So when I unpacked these at first, I was like, oh my God, this feels so soft. This is really brushed. Like really soft and brushed fab like fabric and it's it's insanely soft like really nice i was like oh my god these these feel really nice so i had you know i was like maybe i will keep these i don't know they both feel like the same amount of soft so i like that we also have the same logo situation that i showed you on the seamless bra these are by the way not seamless okay they're like a brushed legging like a brushed yeah just a normal brushed legging but not seamless or anything with the white they picked kind of also a light gray here in the back. Um, so we do have no front seam on these, also like that. It seems to be a high waist, but the waistband isn't insanely like wide or anything. And then we have no glue detailing whatsoever. So just a straight across seam here in the back. And that's kind of it. There's no other seaming details, nothing. Um, and then I was like, okay, you know, let's just see if we can see the nail polish color through or anything. And I was surprised it didn't really come through that much. So I was like, okay, this could be promising. How did they do this? Like, did they do something special? Um, and I will say, then I realized there's a second layer to this. So they actually did double layer these leggings. Um, and the inner layer is more of a, like a, I don't know, like a, it's, it's not the same fabric as the outside. So you have this brushed fabric on the outside and then this like thinner layer. I don't even know what this fabric is, but it's very different. It kind of feels like, I don't know if you have like, some, some, like sometimes when you have like these shorts, like the active shorts and they put like an underwear layer in those, then that kind of, that, it reminds me kind of of that. 
And I will also say that, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, but like it's, it's, it's a little weird. We'll see if you can see the second layer when it's on or if it's causing any problems when you try them on. But I'm not sure. I feel like if the second layer was a good idea, more brands would be doing it and bring out white leggings, you know? But then also, of course, did they do it with the blue ones? Because why is the price difference? But yes, they did. So we still have this like the same white layer as well. So it's not even light blue on the inside on these ones. It's still white. So I, I'm not sure why. And here also you can see that there's, you know, the white here as well. Yeah. I kind of expected only the white ones to be different then, especially because of the different price. But I cannot tell the difference between these two at all, except for the color, the, the obvious one, basically. Um, otherwise, these feel like nice and stretchy, but still like decently thick. And I'm assuming having the second layer is also like, you know, adding to the thickness. Um, yeah. I will also say that with these ones, I also realized that there's like a, a bit of a loose uh, thread situation here as well, which I don't think is great for the price they are. I, I expect them to be like, you know, coming without these issues. But let's see these on. All right, these white leggings. Are definitely super soft but it's kind of a bummer they are double lined I mean yes for the squat proofness it probably isn't <laughs> we will find out but I mean the the fact that I couldn't see my nails through the my nail polish color through the leggings is pretty good because uh, I tried that and yeah definitely you can't see it through like the double lining definitely helps with that but once when you put them on you can immediately feel that something is different than with other leggings and they feel like way more compressive in the legs because of that. So I'm happy I went with a size medium and not a size small for that fact. But like, I don't have the same compression here in the waist. Like it's a bit loose, a bit gapy and like it doesn't fit well up there. So it's like compressive, 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 compressive. And then, um, so yeah, I don't think I'll keep these. It just doesn't work for me. If you have like more equally distributed <laughs> size throughout your body, these might be maybe better for you, but just be aware of it. because of their, the being double lined, like they're thicker, which also means they're warmer. So maybe not the perfect summer legging is what I'm trying to say here. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's such a shame because the fabric is so soft. And I guess maybe you like the double line fact, or if you've been looking for like a white legging and you really just want, want it to be white and good to wear, like, yeah, absolutely. Um, also, I like that we have no front seam here, no camel toe issue for me at least, and the nice high waist here, no top seam, and then in the back it's just very simple, just straight across seams. I feel like I could have done a little bit more, and then this I can, I will, Angelica Blick, you know, it's also like, I mean, you could have done a little bit nicer, but it's not super visible because it's tone and tone, so that's fine. They are a 7 8 length on me here, and like you can really, especially down here, you can feel how thick the double lining is. And what I've also noticed is that, I don't know if you can see it, but like it's not perfectly aligned all the time, so you also have to be careful how you put them on, otherwise you're going to see the seams from the second layer through a little bit. And I mean, yes, I understand why it is a hard color to do, and the double lines, or the double lining, I think helps a lot with squat proofness. But there's always like pros and cons to this, and I, yeah, I'm not sure. If you're looking for a white legging, I think this is great. Um, if you have the right body type for it, like I said, I'm missing the compression in the waist for these. But otherwise, I I think these will probably be quite good in terms of squat proofness. So yeah, but let's try on the blue as well. Ah, I really love this color, so I really wish they had not done the double lining on the light blue leggings again i understand because light blue would still not be a very squat roof color otherwise but like i wish it just it just was a single layer because this color is beautiful and the top fabric like the the fabric of the the first layer the outer layer of these leggings is so soft and nice and comfortable and stretchy but <laughs> but this one spe like specifically had really troubles like putting them on you can see the inner layer is still kind of poking out and I don't know why, like it just kept poking out when I was trying the, when I was trying to put them on. Like it just kept coming out. And like if it doesn't fix itself when you put it on and when you pull it up and stuff, then I don't know. Because <laughs> like I can't do anything about it, right? Like it's just, and since it's white on the inside, you can really see it. And then it just bunches up at, around your ankle here, which is also not nice. So yeah, I just, no. 
I wanted to really like these because of the color. I love the color. It's so cute. But let's just lose this inner layer. I'll be okay with like them not being fully squat proof, but ah, dang, it's just like unfortunate. Um, Cause yeah, they feel so nice, except for the fact with the, because of the double lining, the super compression in the thighs, and then there's nothing up here. I've also now figured out why, because you have the double layer, like the whole leg, and then up here it's still double layered, but it's as per usual with your waistband that you have the same fabric as on the inside. So since you don't have that second like layer that the legs have, it doesn't have the same compression and like it's just too loose for me i want compression in my waistband i don't want it to come lower and also to be fair i think because of this double layering like kind of flattens the butt out a little bit sure it also will smooth out any cellulite i think but like it's also like not making your butt look any better it's not pushing it it's not giving it the space it needs and i don't know i love the color but yeah, um, same thing here as well. We have the logo. Now it's like maybe a little bit darker blue, but I still think it's kind of tone and tone. Um, it's still nice and high-waisted, no front seam here. But yeah, you the inner layer is white, as you could see when I showed you how it was like, you know, kind of coming out here. So the inner layer is still white. With the white leggings, you wouldn't see it as much, I guess. And the inner layer is also like this different fabric. It's a bit more performance, a bit more sleek than the outer fabric, which is more brushed. Um, I don't know. This color is amazing, but that's, you know, not these leggings, I guess. Um, also just to note with the seamless bra, because this is different fabrics, seamless and this is the brush material, it still like matches up really nicely. So if you wanted to pair this twist bra with these leggings, you could, and it wouldn't really look any different. But yeah, these leggings, unfortunately, I wanted to really like them because when I touched them, I was like, oh my God, these feel so good. Uh, but yeah, no, the double line just doesn't work for me. All right, let's continue on with more items from the Angelica Blick collection. This is the Blick Seamless Sports Bra in light gray. Um, so this is just, I mean, the other Twisted Sports Bra is also seamless, but this is more of a normal seamless style with the, this detailing here, um, from the, the, the patterns and whatever they did. Uh, we still have like a thinner ribbed waistband underneath your chest here. I got this one in a small only. And I think the gray is more of a warmer, earthy gray. I kind of liked the detailing they used on this one here, That's which is why I tried, I wanted to try it. Um, we have thin spaghetti straps and then they kind of cross a little bit here in the back. As you can see, and they're also adjustable, which is always nice if you have that little bit of, you know, adjustability. Um, the seamless actually feels quite nice and soft. Maybe it feels even a little bit more soft than the first sports bra I uh, showed you guys. So that's nice. Um, it's also decently stretchy. Yeah, I don't know. I have nothing much else to say, so let's just try this on. All right, let's talk about the sports bra. I definitely liked the twist sports bra more, and this is also a seamless one, so if you, yeah, the other one, I don't know, I liked a little more. Um, as I already mentioned, there's like a weird situation with like how it was dyed, that there's like, I don't know, some excess color in some areas. I like this detailing and this on the sides to kind of bring it in a little. And I also like the shape of the bra, but I just think the other one was a bit nicer. And the other one was also a little more comfortable. So here, like, I can feel the straps cutting in a little. And I know that it'll get uncomfortable after a while because they're also thinner. And so they will be, they will keep cutting in and you will, you will be able to feel it at some point, basically. And in the back, we have adjustable straps, which I appreciate, but like, you have, again, the spaghetti straps are just crisscrossing. And yeah, I don't know, that's it. So it's nothing special. And yeah, I think the straps are what's kind of like telling me already, it's not gonna be super comfortable if I wanna wear this for like a longer time. So the twist bras were definitely a bit better in that aspect. Otherwise I think sizing wise, there's still a little bit of space here, but not too much 
up here so and all in all like I think if you have a bigger chest you'll definitely get more cleavage the twist bra seemed also a little bit more covering for the chest area um so yeah I'm not super convinced of this one I like the detailing but yeah it's not that's not all All right, of course I got a matching piece for the sports bra. So we have the Blick seamless tights, um, also in this light gray. I don't know, I kind of like the detail that they used on this one too. So I was, I was like, I'll try these, sure. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of seamless, but you know, why not? If I'm already ordering, I might as well. So you have like some, some detailing here uh, across your thigh. And then we have a ripped waistband up here, something to, you know, give you a waist cinching illusion there. The Can It Will logo here, and then in the back we have like some glue detailing, and again more detailing down here and on your calves. So basically, this light gray again, as I said already with the sports bra, it's kind of more of a warm tone. Like, yeah, it's more of a warm gray, um, and then you have like this darker, this darker part with the detailing. I don't know. They feel like very lightweight, like not thick at all. More of a if I had to compare them to some Gymshark leggings, I would definitely not compare them to the Adapt uh, line, but more to the Vital Seamless, in terms of how like lightweight these are. Um, these might feel like a little bit softer, maybe. I'm not sure if they feel more stretchy though, but they, I mean, they're definitely very stretchy. I think you can see it here. So that should work. The waistband is also not, not very thick, so I'm not sure how much compression this one will give. Um, but let's try this on. All right, now I'm not really a fan of this whole situation, just telling you right away. Um, I do like some of the detailing, but not all of it. And the fabric is nice and soft, but like I'm missing compression again. So you have this waistband, which is a little bit compressive, but like, again, I have like a little bit of problems down here in the back area. And then you can also see it doesn't, it's not a very long waistband, so you can still get like li that little pooch situation here. So I wish there was a little bit more. Then you have like this little bit of detailing here, which is fine. And what I really like actually is like from the side, you can see this going away and like this. So this part I really like. I think this is a cute like accentuation, whatever thing, cute detailing for sure. But then they lose me with some of it. So from the front, I think it's nice and simple. You have this, you have this, all good. But then in the back, you also have this, but nothing in between here. And then you also have this on your calves and I just don't understand. Please explain what this supposed to do. Like, yeah, I don't understand. Like this cute, this cute. I guess this kind of obligatory at this time and age, but then also maybe do something here a little bit more. I don't know. You still get that unibutt a little bit. And yeah, I don't have enough compression in the waistband in the back here. And I wish it was a little bit thicker, a little bit wider. Um, otherwise, I will say the medium is fine, probably. I feel like I get a little bit more compression also around here than up here. So same thing as with the first pair of leggings we looked at. And what I don't understand is like something is weird with the dye. I don't know if you can see it, but like there's some, I don't know, it looks like they stained them with like a darker color and then it didn't wash out or something. I'm not sure if it's super visible, but like it's something looks weird. Like they were folded up and then like kind of dyed and then it got stuck in some creases. And actually the same thing I saw with the sports bra, like a little bit here and there. It just looks a little weird and doesn't seem like it should be like this, if you know what I mean. So yeah, they're not convincing me. If I bring something out with this and this detailing, maybe. But like some of the things are just like, why? Like the things on the calf, I don't understand. Um, Yeah, not bad, but like not great either. All right, we have one more item left from the Angelica Blick collection. This is the Blick cropped tee. So we have a cropped t-shirt. Wow, who would have guessed <laughs> from this name? Again, this beautiful light blue color. It's, it feels like really nice and soft and lightweight, like a, a nice t-shirt material, a bit more luxurious than maybe your cheap t-shirts. 
Um, and then we have like, you know, decently sized arms, I guess. And you can see we have like a super long tie that you can tie around your body a few times, I think. Um, which is a cute idea, you know, I always like these kind of things as well. And then we have like a bit, bit of a cutout here in the bag. And again, this logo here, same as in all the pieces from the collection. And yeah, this it's, it's kind of, you can see also the bands here are like a little bit more stretchy. So I don't think they'll be cutting in or anything at all. You have like definitely a decent amount of like stretch and breathability and whatever. And yeah, let's just see this one on. All right, here we have this t-shirt. It feels like super nice and soft and like, it's kind of like a little bit like, you know, not super oversized, but you have a little bit extra space in the sleeves and around here. It's not super long in the back. So I'm wearing the light blue bra underneath and you can kind of see the band a little bit. Uh, I don't mind it also, as you can see, we have a lot of stuff to tie <laughs> around here. It's, it's a very long tie situation. So um, I will start by doing this, I think. And then we just tie it around here. And I think you could do it one more time if you wanted to. You could also keep the tie in the back or something. But now like we have some crisscross situation here. And I'm assuming you could make it a little bit prettier too. If you want to tune, if you're, if you can. Um, I think it's cute if it's like, it's not super special or anything, but it's also very soft and comfortable to wear. And if you're not like super comfortable with just a normal crop top, I mean, this is kind of a little bit different and it still covers you a little bit more, I think. Um, so you could try that. And yeah, I think the quality is really nice. It's, it's very soft. It's very comfortable. It's very breathable too. Simple in the back. Um, but with this cutout here, so maybe not that simple. <laughs> and if you were like, you know, it depends on what sports bra you wear, how much you're gonna see off the sports bra. And yeah, it's cute. Like I said, you have so much stuff. I could also tie it in the back here, having it around me now like three times. Um, I'm just, usually I think I'd be too lazy to tie it in the back, but it's possible. And then it's a little more simple from the front, but then you have like so many straps and crisscrosses and stuff. But I mean, it could also be a look, right? Um, yeah. I, again, like the color. I just like this light blue. So, uh, yes. All right, I was also trying to get like something that was more of a standard in their, like, collections or like in their in their you know I don't know what whatever like something that's more of a standard legging for them something that they always have in stock basically like more of a basic um so I got the divine seamless leggings in this mystic blue color they also had some scrunch ones but I didn't like I wasn't really feeling it you know nothing like too intriguing there um here there was some like fun detailing that I'm like it's kind of mesh so I'm, I'm sure it'll be a bit more obvious once I try these on actually and um, we also again have the I can I will logo here but this time without the Angelica Blick part and here it's a little bit silver which is a, a fun detailing but also it's like the type of logo that I think would peel off a little bit you know after a while after a few washes of course no front seam because these are seamless also no back seam so you run into the unibut situation maybe probably and we have a ripped waistband here. It feels a little bit thicker than from the light gray seamless leggings. So maybe hopefully a little bit more compression from these. And then, yeah, we have like some glute detailing, but it's really hard to see. There's something underneath your, your glutes there and across the thighs and also down here. Um, but like I said, I think it'll be easier to see this when it's on. The fabric itself is, I think, less soft than the light gray seamless. It feels a little bit more scratchy, but definitely like, like itchy scratchy, if that makes sense. And maybe they're a little bit thicker, but they're definitely just as stretchy. So at least you have that. Because sometimes I feel like some seamless leggings are not stretchy enough, but I think these do feel like they are stretchy enough. The Mystic Blue is more of um, like a bluish gray, I think. Again, also, what does Mystic even mean, right? So. Um, yes, and definitely like no glue detailing up top here or anything. So we will see how the separation for these goes. Um, yeah, let's see these on. All right, so some more staple seamless tights from I Can I Will. 
Um, I didn't realize there was so much mesh happening when I put these on. I was like, what is this? Um, but I guess there was some detailing. Uh, we have something across your thighs and it's like really just super subtle. But you can see it if you, you know, if you really look for it. And you can also see it here on the side. And then there's multiple like things like that along your leg down here. So you have like something crossing here, then here and here. I'm not sure why, what does it do mid thigh? I don't know, underneath the butt I understand, but like, huh? So yeah, I'm not super convinced of that. Um, but I'm, again, I'm also more skeptical of like seamless in general. The fabric itself is not like super soft. It's a bit more like structured. It is not itchy or anything, but like it's not the softest seamless I've felt. Um, the medium is okay. Like I get a decent amount of compression, but I think it could still be a little bit more. Um, here the waistband is at least a little bit wider, so you can see my lower tummy also gets some compression from here. Um, unlike with the other seamless leggings that we had, they're nice and high-waisted. There's maybe a teeny tiny bit of space back here, but it's not so bad. And yeah, I definitely feel a little bit more tucked in with these than with the light grey ones that I just showed you. Um, but yeah, definitely still not my favourite. I think they're nice and stretchy though. Like if you like seamless, these are probably like a good option. It's just not like, you know, I don't know. It's just not, uh, I don't even know how to say that, but like it's, it's not, you know, convincing me, uh, basically. It's not, it's not hitting right for me. Like it's, it feels okay, but like, yeah, I just prefer the brush leggings a little bit more and, but these fit fine. Let's let's keep it at that. All right, guys, in the beginning of this video, I promised you something where I was like, what is going on? So we're at this piece now. It's also the last piece because I thought I'd save the, well, it's not the best, but like the most interesting for last. We have the ultimate training hoodie sports bra or whatever this name was. I, you know, it's a thing. Um, yeah, we, we, we have this in dark green. I do like the color. Look at the color. Um, but yeah, I was, I, I, I was saw it and I was like, what is going on? Um, it is confusing. I just don't know why. Um, I think I just need to see it on. But yeah, we have a hood here in case you're wondering what I'm holding up. This is the sports bra part. This is the hood part, okay? Um, so the sports bra part, we do have removable cup pads. Um, I think it's supposed to cross in the front here. So you get like a little bit of like, like a keyhole cleavage moment. We have like this like super tight elastic underneath um, with the I can I will on here and you know like a, a racer back I guess here it, it seems very strappy as well um, there's a lot going on and the hood just adds like I don't know so much more um, and the fabric though the, except for the elastic here feels really nice and soft I will say that it feels a bit more performancey but still like a soft performance material the inside is even more soft, like it's impressive, that's really nice. Um, I wouldn't mind having that, you know, against my, against my skin. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say about this. Like, I think we just need to see this on and then we can judge, like, whatever this is. So, let's do it. Alright guys, I might be living in this piece now because this band is so freaking tight. I don't know if I can ever get this off. But, I guess it's worth it for... I don't know, just having a hood on your sports bra. I still don't know why. It looks ridiculous. Um, like, what is the purpose of this? Have you ever like just worn a sports bra and been like, oh, I wish I had a hood now because my head is cold. Or it was raining, I don't know. <laughs> you, you tell me if there was ever a situation where you were like, yeah, I need a hood on my sports bra and I don't want to put on a hoodie. Um, yeah, let me know. Anyway, <laughs> this is the situation. This band, it is so tight. Um, this bra part, however, too big. Hmm, do we understand it? No. Do we need to understand it? I guess not, I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, like there's also like it's pretty. I don't get a lot of coverage here, like. And again, I showed you that there's so much extra space here. And yet, like, this is the tightest thing ever. Like, I did, did with the other bras, small, extra small, all's fine. This one is a little, like, I guess, large to fit this band. But then, like, I could swim in the upper part here. I, I really don't know. Um, if you have a teeny tiny rib cage and big boobs, you go for it. <laughs> but otherwise, I do not know. Um, I will say though that the, this fabric that's not the band here is quite nice and comfortable. It's like kind of sleeky but soft. We have removable cup pads, but yeah, there's too much space here, not enough coverage here. And then the thick straps are also quite okay. Also, I was quite concerned. I didn't know how to put this on because there was like so many straps and I just went for it and it worked. So I guess if you want to buy this thing because you feel like you need this hood, then just, no, just, just go for it, just put it on. And then we have like, I don't know, even like a racer back situation, kind of, right? With the twist, did I twist it? I think I twisted it, didn't I? Oh well, I'm not gonna put it back on the right way. I think I have a twist in the straps, maybe. It doesn't matter, it's not gonna change the fact that this is too tight. I can still put on the hood. Maybe the hood is inside out that way. I think it is. So yeah, you, uh, you'll you be seeing me wear this hood inside out. Like I said, I'm not gonna, there's no way. Once I get this off, I'm gonna put this back on. No way. Um, but let's just, um, you know, reminisce. Like, just, just admire this hood on this sports bra. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a no for me. <laughs> All right, I know I just said I wasn't gonna put it on again the right way, but then I realized once I had it off, it was supposed to be like this, with the crisscross, and I was like, oh no, that changes things. It doesn't change anything about like how it fits, and that this is still way too tight, but it does change the look, right? So uh, I put it back on, just for you guys. Um, I don't know if this makes it better or worse, <laughs> but let's put the hood on to get the full look again. Yeah, you have this crisscross really cutting into my throat too, so a yay for that. <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, I guess now the fit issue is a little bit better though in, in like the chest area, but like there's still sm some space here on the sides as well. Um, but yeah, you get like nice cleavage if you have big boobs and can actually get this band over them. Because yeah, I'm struggling with my A small B cup to get this band over my boobs. So how does someone do that with a double D? I don't know. Um, yeah, showing you the back again. Now it's a bit more of a true race for back situation. This is what it looks like when the hood is not on. Um, but why would you put that glorious hood not on your head? So, um, yeah, I don't know. If you bought this and you love it, I respect you. But tell me why. Why do you wear this hood? When do you wear it? Is it just an accessory? Does it maybe help you when you squat and you put the barbell on your shoulders? You basically have a little bit of coverage. That is actually genius. I don't know. You tell me this is how this bra is supposed to wear. Now I will ask again for some help to get it off. So, yay. Yeah. All right, it's conclusion time. So, um, I don't know, that was something. Especially that hoodie sports bra, I really still do not understand what was happening. And, um, you know, I hope you appreciate the fact that I realized I had her on the wrong way. And then, despite this being such a struggle, put it on the right way still, you know? That means I had to take it off twice. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I don't think you can. But yeah, it was a struggle, okay? <laughs> um, I will say that, like, on first impression, I was... I don't know, I was more impressed with them, and then after I tried everything on, I was a little less impressed. <laughs> so, in the beginning, as I told you, I was like super like, I don't know, intrigued by these like tights, just by the normal ones, by the brush ones, and the light blue and the white, because I was like, oh my god, this feels so nice and soft and wow. And then when I had them on, like with this double lining, and I don't know, it just kind of ruined everything for me. And it didn't even really help with the squat proofness that much. I mean, just imagine, how not scrub proof they would have been if they didn't have that double like lining like what i don't even know <laughs> like yeah i'm just i'm that that's that's interesting it's very interesting 
Um, yeah, to, just to say though, you know, these are definitely not the most cooperative white, white leggings I've seen. Um, and they have a double lining, it's just, it just doesn't do anything. It was just like weird. And like the whole thing that it came out of the, when you try to put it on, it just kind of came out at the bottom because your foot pushed it through and who, yeah, no. Um, not, not a fan anymore after trying it on. I still like the Twisted Sports Bra, so I'm thinking about keeping that, or both of them, I guess. And the t-shirt was also cute. I'm just not sure if it's worth the money, you know? Because it wasn't that cheap for what it is. I mean, yes, it has a lot of, like, um, the, the ties were pretty long, I guess. There's a lot of fabric in those, yes. Uh, but I really do like the light blue. I don't know, there, there's normal seamless, that divine seamless legging, um, I think which was one of their best sellers. I mean, yes, it was okay, but like nothing too special. I don't know. Um, but if you like seamless, I think you could still check them out and see what they have. It's just not, it wasn't my thing, basically. Um, yeah. So all in all, I have mixed feelings. <laughs> um, I definitely wouldn't say they're terrible, but I also wouldn't say that they're like exactly what I was looking for. And um, yeah, I don't know. You, like if you have given them a try before, like if you if you like them or if you don't like them, you can just uh, we can just chat in the comment box down below. Um, you can tell me why or why not you like them, or like if there's a legging I still should try from them that you're like this is the best that they have and it's really really good. You can also let me know. I'm always uh, happy to, you know, get suggestions from you guys and to like you know try out different things. Um, but yeah, otherwise I like that light blue. I really do. I wish there was more things than that that I actually liked a lot. <laughs> so. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, also, if you have any suggestions for like new brands to test out, whatever, any suggestions, any feedback for like improvements, whatever, leave it down in the comment box below as well. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram as well. You could DM me there, but I usually am better at seeing your comments on YouTube. So, you know, if you really want something, um, you know, if you really want to let me know something or tell me something, you can just leave it down there for everyone to see and um, yeah otherwise if you haven't yet give this video a thumbs up also if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel so we can continue growing and otherwise thank you again so much for watching um i hope you had a fun time and i will see you next time bye